In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, we're going to take an additional look at using the Adorage filter as an effect and how to use the mixing control within that Adorage filter. I have a clip on the screen of this couple on the beach and what I'd like to do is add a filter to this. So I click on my effects room or and I can take the Adorish filter and drag it either on top of the track or onto the effects track by itself. I'll do that for now. Then with the filter selected, I'll click on the Modify button above my tracks. Then I click on Stand Alone Effect. That will pop up Adorage's screen. And this says, well, which effect do you want that belongs to the Adorage family? Now, your list may be different than mine. I'm going to cl click on those, this subcategory of hearts and simply pick the first one. Now I'm going to go into the mixer room where we've been in another tutorial. And in this mixer room, we've already looked at in the, another lesson, how to change the properties of the mask. Let's look at the other controls we have on the screen. In the lower left corner, you have a way in which you can change the color of the border. Now the border right now is this graphic, which is different shades of red, pink, pinkish color. It's called file. And here's the location of the file. I want to change that. All I need to do is click on the icon of the file and click on select file. Now it will give me some other options of what I can use. Uh, for example, let's take uh, this blue item here. Click on open. And now as you see in the preview window, that becomes the new controlling color of my border on my mask. Or I can go ahead and pick uh, any, other, any other file that I'd like. I'll go select file and you can also change directory. Now here's a file I created myself and imported into this directory. So I'll click on that, click on open, and now when I look at my preview it matches the shades in my particular uh, graphic file. If you don't want a graphic file, you can also choose a solid color. I click on the down arrow here, and I'm going to change the color of the border here by clicking on color. The default is black, which most of us won't use. Click on select color below that, and you can pick any of your basic colors, or you can pick a custom color. Let's go over here and pick something in the purple range, and then click on OK. And now, as you'll see in the preview window, that's the new color of the border of this particular effect. If I want to uh, change it, I can click on Update. Or if I want to go back to the factory default, I just click on Reset. And there we go. Now one of the things you can also do is you can change the starting point of the mask and the ending point. The default for this particular one is 0 to 100. And they may vary according to the effect you choose. But you notice it comes out and it goes back. If I just want it to zoom out, it looks like it's about 50-50. So what I'm going to do is take this and make the end point 50%. And now, during the course of the entire um, viewing of the mask, it will come out. And then at the ending, it will be large. There we go. Now I can also change it if I perhaps want want it to uh, be the opposite. I'll start at the middle since it's an in and out kind of mask in this particular example. I'll start at 50% and end at 100 and it will shrink down. So you have all kinds of ways of varying not only the mask itself but the border color and a little bit about the movement of the mask on the screen. If you want to reset it uh, to factory defaults, click here or you can click on Update or simply click on OK. Now when I click on OK and look back on my screen, uh, I have that part of the mask controlled by these features and the other parts that we'll deal with a bit when we get to Overlay. But we're just dealing right now with the mixer controls when we use the Adorage filter as an effect.